Good morning, pumpkin. Are you still in bed? I'm coming in. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's gorgeous out. You don't want to waste the day in bed, do you? It's so early, Mom. <sighs> Come back later. Honestly, you can't spend your vacation lying in bed. And d did you sleep in your brand new suit? I had a late night. It's tough being vice president of the world. You've been in office one day. Oh, if only the voters could see you now, my son the slouch. At least go say hi to your brother. He took the day off to come and see you. You missed breakfast, by the way. Maybe you could stop by the bakery later. But don't spoil your appetite. We're having an early supper tonight. Hey, little bro. Long time no see. Good morning, um, Mr. Vice President. Gee, what do I call you now? Oh, come now. There's no need for formalities. Sir will do just fine. Oh, okay. Hey, I got you a present, sir. I left it downstairs for you. Why, little bro, you aren't trying to bribe me now that I'm in office, are you? No, of course not. It's just a little something for winning the election. That Dr. Sven's so dreamy. Hey, they were just about to reveal what Jack's evil twin looks like. I swear you boys are lost without your mother, huh? All right, let's get some fresh air before all my days of our bold and the restless starts. This calls for a mother's touch. Ching. How you like it? Pretty nifty, huh? I absolutely love it. What is it, a laptop? I'm confused. It's a tablet. It's like a phone, but bigger. You can do your big, important work on the go now, even at a coffee shop. Ah, now you're speaking my language. What's a world leader got to do to get a cup of coffee around here? I'll take you to Moonbucks. They just opened one across the street. Let's do this! Check it out, Ma. My adoring public, here to congratulate me on my meteoric rise to power. Actually, um, they don't look too happy. Nonsense! That's envy, you see. This is exactly why I got into politics in the first place. So glad you're home, Mr. VP. Why, thank you. It's nice to relax after an election. You here for an autograph? 
The only signing that's going on is my sign and your face! Whoa, my face is my livelihood. Little bro, this is all you. Honey, you have to learn to fight your own battles one day. Hmm? Uh-huh. Don't forget to protect me. Done, team. Mother knows best. I knew I could do it. interview? What's on your mind, sir? That sounds right up my alley. I have a couple stories I'm tracking down first, though. I need to get some pictures of a local man's car that wound up in a lake nearby. And I need pictures for a story about how bright lights might revitalize the dwindling shipping industry. Wow, I didn't realize you were an actual journalist. Those stories sound a little over my head. Trust me, you'll want your face in these pictures. Local flavor kind of stuff. Plus, it'll help me sell the stories to papers. I need to switch my lenses. So why don't you go find the two locations I mentioned? You're a smart man. You'll figure them out. All right, here we go. Over. You're well done, team.
All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you like that, huh? <gasps> Ooh, ouch. Never doubted you for a second. You look like a man who knows where to get a good strong sarsaparilla. You're in luck, my friend. I own the local soda shop. But to be honest, I think I'll just stay here all day. This iced special blend is drinking quite well today. Guys with beards don't like being disturbed from their coffee. I'll leave him be. This protest is interrupting school. Oh well. Preposterous! Let me see what I can do about this. Well, I don't mind, so long as I got this delicious special blend. Either he's one of those caffeine junkies you hear about, or something weird's going on here. Psst! Hey, come here. Huh? Yeah, you! What can I do for you, taxpayer? I don't pay taxes. I also don't drink the coffee. Neither should you. Taxes and coffee are two of my favorite things. They contaminated the coffee. Can't you taste it? <laughs> Fine. Don't believe me. Your funeral, pal. They contaminated the coffee. It's so dark and aromatic. Bold, even. Too bold. I was abducted once, you know. Aliens, they ran tests on me back in Uranus. They walk among us, don't you get it? Don't things seem just a little bit off to you? We need proof, it's the only way. Proof and a refill, lots of refills. Here's what we'll do. You go find proof while I head to the police station. I'm good at talking, so let me handle that. You can track down evidence. Sound good? Stay strong, brother. Hello? Oh, sorry. My mind was just drifting away from me there. Is something wrong? Not really. Just waiting for my manager to come in. He's never late. But oh well, I'm sure he's fine. Hmm. Everyone is raving about your new special blend roast. I'll take a grenade. You mean a grande? Unfortunately, I just ran out of special blend. Hopefully, we'll restock real soon, though. Huh? So, what's up with creepy guy over there? Oh, that guy's harmless. But he doesn't trust anyone. He seems really paranoid about your coffee. Funny story. I swear there was a bag of special blend on the counter last night. But I came in this morning and it was gone. It's like the beans just sprouted legs and walked off. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Huh? Oh. Huh? Huh? Yeah! Huh? We could use a perky girl like you. Come join us. I'm flattered, but I can't leave. My manager would kill me if I didn't restock the special blend first. Well, where is this slave driver of a manager? Oh, he's actually the sweetest man in the world. But he hasn't shown up yet to unlock the storage room. He usually opens the door back there so I can restock the special blend. Hey, Pipsqueak, why don't you watch where I'm going? <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? You can't talk to the Vice President of the world like that. Vice who? What now? Sounds like a made-up pageant to me. It's called an election. I won, so you have to do what I say. Tough guy, huh? You entered some contest and won, and you think you're better than me. You're just lucky I didn't enter. What was your talent, anyhow? Being short and flabby? 
It wasn't some muscle show-off extravaganza. This is the real world, pal. Politics. Psh. Well, if you got what it Paula takes, stop by my gym sometime. We'll see who's the tough guy. Later, bro. Bro? <laughs> what an absolute oaf. Although, an oaf with some pretty impressive golden locks. Something weird's going on at Moonbucks. I've never heard of a substance as addictive as this special blend. Hmm? Hello. What's your business here today? Do you have something to report? I had to lock up your little friend. He was raving about conspiracies and making people uncomfortable. I don't like that in my city. You know, there's a small chance he's on to something. Really? Well, if you can bring me some solid evidence, I'll consider letting him out. Hello, what's your- Do you have something to report? The following suspects are still out there, terrorizing the people. Hello, do you have some- Howdy ho, officer. Everything nice and quiet these days? Sir, maybe you didn't notice, but there's a massive protest all around my streets. And I got that old kook in Moonbuck stirring up people with his conspiracies and whatnot. Hello, do you have something to report? Hey, why don't you come with us? We could use the law on our side. Thank you, but this entire area is one bad sneeze away from chaos. I can't abandon my post. Unless maybe you want to lend a hand or something. an order with fed ups what do you want if you need anything Get to protect me. You like that, huh? Yeah. Keep it up. I've got your back, bro. Walk it off. Uh huh. Ha! Well done, team. Don't forget to protect me. You're corrupt. I've got your back, bro. This calls for a celebration. Don't forget to protect me. You're corrupt! How'd that feel? Another victory for the VP. Mother knows best. I knew I could do it.
Imagine the headlines. VP steals car. Thanks, but no thanks. Good luck. I'm much too old for this. <laughs> Keep it up! Ha! This calls for a celebration! Person who's too young to vote? Are your parents home? Nope! I live by myself. And I'm not as young as I look. Mm hmm. I apologize if anything I said may have cost me your vote next election. That's okay. I can't be mad at you. I'm your number one fan. Well, you don't say. I have all your play sets Dream Home Vice President, Prom Date Vice President, even the hard-to-find Ballerina Vice President. So, this just took a sharp turn towards creepy. I also collect citizen trading cards. They contain cool infomatics about each of your friends and tips for how to use them in combat. Maybe I could show you my collection sometime? Sure, cards. Love it. Do any of you know what she's talking about? Mm-hmm. You bet I am. I'm rooting for all of you to kick butt. Hello? Can I help you? Please, please? I can't join you. I have so many more citizen trading cards than you have followers. If I join now, it'd spoil the magic. Come back. <laughs> Get him! Charge! Capitalism at its finest. Can I help you? What can I do you for? Check out that wrench. What size is that fella? Old wrenchy here's one size fits all. I uh, didn't realize it worked that way. So you on the job? You know it, 24/7. Really? Well, that's handy. They don't call me a handyman for nothing. How can I help you? What can I do you for? I'd love to, but I gotta fix an old elevator to the south. Just wish I could get through the blockade.
All right, here we go. Why me? You got this. Ha! Impressive. Try again, you'll get him. Well done, team. Hello. What's your business here today? Do you have something to report? Officer, I brought you some evidence. There really is something strange going on. Mm-hmm. I'm not convinced. In that case, I'd like to invoke the ancient art of the vice presidential pardon. I'll tell you what. If I release him into your custody, do you swear he won't harass my town anymore? You know, I ran on a platform of trust, integrity, and some other stuff. You have my word. I'll keep an eye on him. All right. Then I guess he's all yours. Thanks for springing me, Chief. Now, let's take this to the streets and spread the word. Whoa there, Turbo. Why don't we play a game, shall we? The first person to create a mass panic loses, all right? Hmm, I have a feeling I'm not gonna do well at this game. I knew you could be trusted. Imagine the headlines, VP steals car. Hmm. Capitalism at its finest. 